So in GA4, you're able to generate this report with user lifetime value. You can see here you have the average in terms of revenue, also engagement duration and so on. And to get here, all you have to do is come to your analytics, click on the Explore tab and inside here, if you just scroll by clicking on these arrows, you see user lifetime. If you click on that, this is what you're going to get. This report is only useful if you will compare these to each other. So for example, email against referral and so on. Then you can look at it. However, if you want to find out your real user lifetime value or your customer lifetime value, then GA4 is not the place. And this is because Google Analytics 4 relies on technology called browser cookies. And in recent years, they are just too unreliable to track your repeat visitors to the site. G4 doesn't know the customer ID or their uh, user's email, so there is nothing you need to distinguish one person from another. So if a person bought something today and then in three months, it's very unlikely that GA4 would know that, that that's the same person bought from you twice. So to get your customer's lifetime value for your e-commerce store, I advise you just export your orders from your e-commerce platform, then look at the data in Google Sheets or Excel. <laughs> Hello data people, my name is Robert and I'm here to help you understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. So to grab the template, just click on the first link in the description. So once you follow the link, you land on this page and here you can click on file and make a copy. Otherwise you won't be able to update anything. Then you go into the data tab and here you can just replace these four rows. So customer ID or email, order ID, purchase date and amount. That's all you need and we'll calculate everything for you. So you just delete what's here and then place your own data. If you don't have this data, then you can also get away with just uh, this data. To total revenue, total orders, and total amount of customers. Because I'll show you two ways how to calculate the customer lifetime value, the proper way and a quick and dirty way. In case your data is more than 5,000 rows, then just expand, uh, expand some of these rows because right now there's nothing in them. So you need to make sure that this formula also expands up until, you know, as far as your data goes. If you come here in CLV Lite tab, let's take a look quickly at the formulas that we need. So customer lifetime value equals average order value times purchase frequency times average customer lifespan. So I have here in months, but actually we're gonna look at it in years. The hardest one is the average customer lifespan. I'm gonna come back to it, but we have the formulas here. A of E is super easy and I already prepared some numbers here. For us to calculate this, we need total revenue, orders, and customers. Now, obviously you could get this data in GA4, but you'll see soon why it's not possible to calculate with just GA4 data. So first of all, let's look at it. Total revenue divided by orders, let's do that. So total revenue divided by orders gives us $374, great. That's our average order value. And then orders per customer. So this is the purchase frequency we need to have the number of orders divided by the number of customers. So that's easy as well. Orders by customers. And here you go. We have five orders per customer, a bit more than five orders uh, per customer, which is pretty high actually, because this data is just looking at one year time frame. And then we come to average lifespan. And this is a bit hard to calculate because it really depends on what time frame you're looking at. I'm going to just uh, simplify it so that you have some number to work with. And I have prepared a formula here and simply it is like this one minus average retention rate. That's a percentage. And then you basically divide one divided by that number. And how do you get average retention rate? Well, you can do something like this, which is a cohort analysis, and then you can get an average retention rate. But I advise you uh, first look at the video, how to use this uh, sheet before you actually just uh, grab it. So if you want to see that uh, tutorial, just uh, click on the banner here at top right corner. You should see it there and I'll explain how to use it. But basically it will do all the work for you. If you know the average retention rate, you're able to calculate a lifespan, at least a rough one. I already have this formula here. So this is just grabbing that retention rate, which was the uh, 21% and it's applying it to this formula. So my average lifespan per customer for, uh, you know, if you're looking at years is 1.27 years. This is like a 
15, I think 15 months or something like that. Okay, so now that we have the three main parts of our customer lifetime value, then we can calculate it. It's simply as AV times frequency times lifespan. And now I have this number, which is 2,414, which sounds a lot, but this store just sells a lot. And in your case, it might be much less and the difference between AOV and CLV might be much smaller, but don't worry about it. That's where you're starting. And I cover customer lifetime value and other crucial e-commerce metrics more in depth as part of my data for e-commerce courses. For more information, the link is in the video description. Now, if this is all confusing and you want to just something quick and dirty, then what you can do is just come here and to get the customer lifetime value, you could also think, okay, well, I'm going to just take the revenue and divide that by customers. That's going to give me a, a pretty close number, right? At least in this case, it gives me a very close number. Now, this dirty way only works if you have a bit longer time period. So, for example, in my data is for one year. So then it kind of just assumes that, okay, this is the revenue you got this year and this is how many customers you had. So it must be that this is the value for each of the customers. So customer lifetime value. But if you have only three months or so, then we don't know yet at that point if customers will come and return in six months, in nine months or 12 months. Mark. So it will give you more pessimistic overview of your customer lifetime value. So whenever possible, just use the proper calculation. Now that you have seen how to calculate customer lifetime value, you will need that retention rate to make your calculation more accurate. So watch this video next where I'll show you how to calculate retention rate using my free Google Sheets template.